When we start working with functions, one of the things we need to learn how to work with is called variable scope. That is, where a variable exists inside of a program. For example, if I create a function, and inside that function I set x equal to 22, outside of that function I can call f, but x won't exist. I can go ahead and run this. Right here the computer says x is not defined, even though I've defined it up here. The issue is that when you create a variable here, it only exists inside of the function. It does not exist out here. So variables created in a function only exist inside of a function. That is, this indented region, that's the only place you're going to be able to use that x variable. Why is it done that way? The idea behind a function is that when you call a function, you don't need to worry about the internal mechanics of how that function works. It's basically encapsulated so that everything about calculating that function or doing that option is all encapsulated inside of that one particular function. As a side result of that, when I create variables inside of that function, I don't have to worry about variables outside of that function being changed or being created and set values. So in short, if the variable is created inside of a function, its scope, that is where it exists, will only be inside of that function. Now, there are some oddities to this. Let's go over some of those. I can do the following. This program will work. In this case, x equals 44, the x is created right here, which is outside of the function. I can use variables created outside of the function, inside of the function, under certain circumstances. In this case, as long as you only read from the variable, you can use it. I am printing the variable, so I'm only reading from the variable, and I can go ahead and print 44, I can call f right here, and the x variable exists because it was created outside the function, so I can also use it outside the function here in the print statement. All of that is legitimate. What makes this a bit strange is if I do something like the following. Now if I run the program, I set x equal to 44 here. Here I set x equal to 5. But the key thing is, because I'm actually writing to the variable, instead of using this x, I've created a brand new x. This is completely and totally confusing, even if you're fairly experienced with it. But because I've written to the variable, I have an x inside of the f function scope, and I have an x inside of a global scope. The x inside the global scope is equal to 44. The x inside of the function is equal to whoops, 5. When I call this, it goes up here. x is equal to 5. It prints out a 5 right down here. And when I print out x here, it uses this variable of an x, and it prints out a 44. Confusing because I've got two variables, both of which happen to be named x. But if I take away that x equals 5, then I've only got one variable. I can do a further demonstration of this by this program. Now if I run the program, the error I get, local variable x referenced before assignment. In this case, right here, it is complaining that you have added one to x before you've told the computer what x is. This might seem confusing because it looks like right here I've created a brand new variable called x so I should be able to add one to it. But inside of a function the only time you can refer to variables outside of the function is if you don't change the values. If you do change the values then that variable becomes part of the scope of the f function and only exists inside of the f function. Because I'm adding one to x, I'm clearly modifying x. So the computer jumps up in here when you call f, 
when you call f it jumps up in here and then goes oh hey I'm not really quite sure what you're doing you're adding one to x and clearly if you're adding one to x we've got a brand new variable called x inside of the f and then we've got our local scope here we've got a variable called x which is equal to 44 you want to add one to x inside of f and I have no idea what it originally was you didn't say it was zero or anything else so the computer generates this following error so in summary of this part remember a variable exists only inside of a function you can use variables created before a function but only if you don't change the variable values now we have worked with variables that are passed in as parameters for example In this case, I set x equal to 44, I define my function, and really I should clear this out and do proper programming. Functions should always happen first before I have code. It works if I don't actually mix these up and becomes a little bit less confusing, so let's go ahead and do that. I set x equal to 44 right here. I call function x function and this function right here takes a parameter so if I run the program right now it's not going to work because I'm not giving it a value for y. Let's go ahead and try it. Down here I get my error. F takes exactly one argument, zero given. What it means by argument, that's the parameters that go in, in between the parentheses here. I've not given any, that is zero, and it takes one so that a value can be copied in for y. The computer can't run the program until I fix this problem. Easy enough. Let's put in x here. Now when I run the program, x is equal to 44. I'll call f. I'll pass it x, which is actually the value of 44. So the computer will do a substitution here. And then it'll come up here. It'll set y equal to the value that was passed in. So this 44 is going to come up here. I'm going to add 1 to y, so y is then going to equal 45. I'll print out 45. Then I'm going to come down here, and this x value hasn't changed. Even if I've added 1 to y, what happens here is a copy. This is a what's called a pass by copy, so the value is copied over. Anything I do to change this value does not affect this, so it's going to print out 44. And I can see this here, I've got 45 and 44 that are printed out down here. This can be pretty straightforward, but where it can get to be a bit confusing is if I actually happen to use the same variable name. In this case, the program is functionally the same as what I had before. But it can be confusing because it looks like I've got the same variable. In this case, I've actually got two variables going on. If I run the program, what I'm going to have is a local scope. And I'm going to have a scope for my variables inside of f. So local, x is going to equal 44. I'm going to call f of x, so this will be replaced by 44. This 44 is going to go up here, and I'm going to be calling f of this, and this x is going to equal 44. It's an entirely different variable, even though they happen to have the same name. I'm going to add 1, and because I'm inside of the function f, all modifications to variables happen inside of this scope right here, so x is going to equal 45, leaving alone the local scope of 44. I'm going to print x, so over here where it's going to print, it's going to print 45, just like it did before. I return out of the function, I jump down here, and I'm going to print x. I'm not inside of the f function, I'm going to work with this variable right here, and it's going to print out 44.